CBS News has learned that there is a deal on the table to free hostages in exchange for a three to five day ceasefire. How close are you to bringing some of the hostages home? Well, we're closer than we were before we began the ground action because the ground action has put pressure on, uh, on Hamas to uh, uh, achieve a ceasefire. We'll have a temporary ceasefire if we can get our hostages back. I don't think it serves that purpose for me to uh, elaborate further on that. We're doing every effort. It's part of our, uh, you know, our three war, uh, war goals. One, to destroy Hamas. Second, to bring back our hostages uh, to Israel. And third, to ensure that that threat, that terrorist threat, never arises again from Gaza, and that Gaza has a different future, better for us, uh, for the Palestinians, and for the entire Middle East. So bringing back the hostages is an integral part of our war goals, and we're doing everything we can to achieve it. But to be clear, are you considering a limited ceasefire? I said that we would have a temporary ceasefire only if we have our hostages back, and I haven't changed what I said. And would Israel agree to release Palestinian prisoners in exchange for hostages? Uh, Nora, I don't think it helps. <laughs> you can ask me, and that's your job, you're a journalist, uh, and you should inquire. But I think there are certain things that we, uh, uh, we're holding uh, uh, as confidential until we have something to tell. And when, when we do, if we do, you and the entire world will know about it, including the hostage families. This is the first chance to hear from you since the targeted raid on Al-Shifa Hospital. If Hamas is using a hospital as a command center, that is a war crime. Do you have concrete evidence? Of course. First of all, we, uh, we had concrete evidence that there were terrorist chieftains and terrorists. There are terrorist minions in the hospital. And in fact, they fled. As our forces approached, they fled. That's why we had no firefight. We entered that hospital with Arabic-speaking Israeli doctors, with incubators, and we had no firefight. But Hamas was using the patients in that hospital as a human shield. And on level minus two, we found a command and control center, military communications, coded equipment. We found bombs. We found uh, weapons. And we also found terror tunnels in the hospital compound. Now, we're doing this very gingerly because we're we're trying to do the moral thing, the right thing, to deprive Hamas of having this safe zone in a hospital, but at the same time to neutralize it, its use as a command center for terrorists. And so far we've achieved it. I'm glad to say that we've been able to do that. We talked to the hospital administration. We told them we're coming in, make sure that no one is there, no one is hurt. Uh, and so far we've achieved that. And I hope we'll continue to achieve that as we finish the job. Where are the hostages being held? Do you know? We had strong indications that they were held in the Shifa hospital, which is one of the reasons we uh, entered the hospital. Uh, if they were, they were taken out. We have intelligence about the hostages. But again, uh, as to your first question, I think the less I say about it, the better.